G'day Star Wars fans and collectors and welcome back to Red Leader 1 and today we're going to have a look at some images released by Hasbro last week as part of the Hasbro Pulse of some of the new Black Series figures that are going to be released next year some stage and uh, Boba Fett, Tython which we got to see in Chapter 14, Season 2 of The Mandalorian which was probably a really cool scene, especially when we hear Slave One uh, make an appearance uh, on Tython. It was pretty exciting. So um, amazing figures or figure. Uh, even though you know the crap I give Hasbro, um, I have to admit that uh, since they've changed to the, uh, the realistic face, re realistic uh, figures, um, their figures have been literally knocked out of the park. A little bit disappointing on some of their clone troopers and storm troopers, but when it comes to main characters, uh, yeah, the absolutely outstanding work. Um, so we got the packaging for the Mandalorian, which uh, has a mural on the side, which obviously when you get most of the figures in that wave, you can either display it like so. Uh, but uh, it it's pretty cool. I love how they change the packaging for the black series um i think it's a, a for me personally i think it's a, a, a not a big improvement i really enjoyed the glossy red and black uh black series packaging but uh, this here is uh, very nice and if you're a fan of the 3.75 figures and you know the vintage collection saga collection with the uh, the images or scenes uh, from the films and that you definitely love the packaging for the black series uh, outstanding and like I said um, Hasbro have been literally knocking it out of the park with the photo realistic uh, characters and uh, this Boba Fett here uh, you know we first got a glimpse of him in chapter 9 the Marshal at the end of that episode and then it wasn't until you know chapter 14 when we actually got to see Boba Fett and that, I would have to say, was one of the uh, most coarse things I've seen on live-action TV for Star Wars. It uh, really, really was good. And uh, obviously after that, we got to see Boba Fett a lot more throughout the Mandalorian Season 2. Uh, too bad we didn't get to see him in action. Uh, we kind of did in the last episode, but uh, we all understand why Boba Fett was not on the ship when Luke Skywalker appear because that would have been a little bit awkward for both of those guys but uh i tell you what i can't wait for this figure to be released next year i i can't remember the actual date well i think it's next year i think it's in the middle of next year at some stage and this is a figure that i'm definitely going to pick up um i would love to get two of these to have one uh, mint in the packaging and also one to have displayed I did watch the Hasbro Pulse and they did talk about the, the face sculpt for this figure which is going to be in line with any other uh, clones that will be released down the track, So, which is really cool. Um, looking at the, uh, the face on Boba Fett here and then trying to compare it with the newer version of uh, Captain Rex from the Bad Batch. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this one definitely is a lot the Boba Fett now looks a lot more realistic than the Captain Rex, but I guess we'll have to f wait and find out when this figure is released. But they did mention about any future re releases of uh, any clone troopers or Boba Fetts. So this is the face that's going to be um, on those clones. I don't know if that's a hint. That's a, an older version of Captain Rex. That we definitely need for the Rebels figures uh, from Star Wars Rebels uh, to, uh, I guess, finish off the, uh, the Ghost Crew. Uh, a Captain Rex from Rebels would be actually good. So we might see that down the track. But uh, just having a look at this figure itself, it's absolutely amazing. Now, I don't want to get caught into, I know for marketing purposes, Hasbro love to uh, make the figure look really, really, really good by photos, but when you pick it up, obviously there's some faults you can pick up, 
and I highlight the clone shock trooper from the Bad Batch. Uh, I think it was a squad leader. If you look at the marketing photos for that display and you check out the helmet, the helmet they're displaying is not a removable one. It looks like uh, a, a plain helmet from one of the original clone troopers from the Black Series. Uh, the helmet you get with the one that is released now is, yeah, it's not up to par, not up to par with uh, the Star Wars quality that have been released and it's quite disappointing actually. So, but anyway, we're here to talk about Boba Fett from The Mandalorian, Tython, uh, Chapter 14, which would have been uh, a lot of Boba Fett's fan, fan favourites. So... And uh, obviously Hasbro will probably release Boba Fett again uh, down, the, down the track with his armour once he uh, gets it off the Mandalorian, which would be uh, another pretty cool figure to see. All his armour painted, being all fixed up and looking good. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. I just wanted to make this quick video and talk about uh, Boba Fett from The Mandalorian, the Black Series 6-inch figure that will be released, I'm pretty sure it's next year, some stage next year. Um, looks fantastic. Can't wait. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what your thoughts are. Already, I can already tell you're going to love this figure. I know it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to hit that like button, share this video, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.